Hi, welcome to Take Tips and Take Stuff. My name is Ron, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play with neon typography. Now, I'll show you what we're doing here. So this is all assets from Production Crate. Uh, the letters, individual letters, are free downloads. It doesn't cost you anything. These ones here are paid downloads. You need um, a pro membership. I think it's 49 bucks a year. Um, I'll, put, I'll put links below to our production crates where you can check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, let's start. So here we're spelling my name. So we're going to double click on this to add to the timeline. Now since it's an MOV file, make sure you download MOV files. They're the easiest to work with. So let's right click, properties, go to alpha channel, Select straight unmatted. Okay, now let's go to the effects and let's click on glow. Let's change this color to something like a neon purple. Don't, don't want to go too much to make it look kind of phony. I want to try to keep this as realistic as possible. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's like 4.30 in the morning right now. Okay. So here we're almost done. That looks pretty good there. Okay. Now, let's go to grids. So on the grid here. Just put grid, just to make it easier to uh, lay out uh, the, the uh, text. And um, so we'll be in here. Let's go to track motion. Let's see what doing here. I'm just going to do this rough. Uh, if you take your time, it'll turn out a lot better. So Y axis is zero, zero, zero. That will keep it on the horizontal line here. But I like using I like using grids. Okay, so that's one done. I'll bring this one to the on the zero, or the O I should say, not the zero. Now, oops, let's go on properties. Media, straight and matted, okay. Now, to copy the colors from the R, just all you have to do is right click, um, where is it here? Copy, and the second one, right click, paste event attributes. So it's already colored for us. So let's use track motion again. That's good. Y axis is zero zero. It's good. I'll do the next one. Properties, media, alpha channel, should matter. Right click, paste event attributes. Let's go back to track motion. This down. That looks good there. Zero zero Y access. I think it's good. 
Just give me the goods now. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this turn into like a neon sign. You know sometimes when neon signs first fire up, they kind of flicker and buzz. So that's what we're going to do now with this. So we'll, let's let's get on to the next step here. Okay, now let's stagger these. To give it a realistic neon effect. Like, as you know when you turn on a neon sign, uh, it, they almost like a fluorescent bulb. It takes a while for them to, to fire up. So that's what we're going to do here. So these are uh, kind of flickering to begin with, right from production crate. But we're going to add some more. Good. Okay, now on these, to make them last longer, right click, take switches, uncheck loop. Do that for each one. So now you can make it as long as you want. Okay, so start at the beginning. We'll add a sound effect in there as well. Okay, now what to do to make this work? We want to create some uh, um, flickering, like the lights going off and on. The, the, the neon light is going off and on. So let's just take a little. Uh, I just uh, let's move these tracks here. I'm going to just take a split, split. Split. Copy. Paste. Paste. I'm not going to go through all these. You guys get the idea here. Stay a little bit. Let's give the illusion of the light is flickering. You can do the same with the other ones as well. But just to save time on that tutorial, we're just going to do it this way here. So going back to the beginning, let's play it through. So you can do it with the rest of the tracks. Just uh, copy a cut. It went on, went off. So right there. Right there. So just do a. Oops. So just split the track there, copy it, and then paste it through the track. And then we have a sound effect here as well. These are all from Production Crate. I'll put links in the description. The individual letters are free downloads. These other ones here aren't. So we'll just play it back. I think I have system volume turned on. Play it back. Okay, it's good. Now I want to show one last thing here before you uh, in this tutorial. Production Crate under Neon uh, Typography as the ones that are already made up, and they're made up uh, with um, After Effects. After Effects does an awesome, awesome job uh, creating uh, a neon effect. So I'm going to show you this one here. So these ones here, And you can make them bigger as well. And um, okay, I'm not going to bore you with, the, with that part of it. But you can make, make these bigger. Um, that's how to create a neon effect the proper way in Vegas Pro uh, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. I'm working with all versions of Vegas Pro.
So, if you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.